Ever wondered what it feels like to be part of the greatest art heist in history? Picture this. It's the early hours of March 18th, 1990. Two men dressed as police officers walk into the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. They tell the night guards they're responding to a disturbance. Moments later, the guards are handcuffed in the basement and the thieves have free reign of the museum. Over the next 81 minutes, the thieves meticulously remove 13 pieces of art, including works by Vermeer, Rembrandt and Degas. The combined value, an estimated $500 million. And here's the kicker. 34 years later, not a single piece has been recovered and no one knows the identities of the thieves. The crime scene was a masterpiece of planning. The thieves avoided the high security areas and seemed to know precisely which pieces to take. Despite numerous leads and even a $10 million reward, the case remains unsolved. The empty frames still hang on the museum walls, a haunting reminder of what was lost. So, what happened to the stolen artwork? Some say it's hidden in a secret collection, others believe it was destroyed. The mystery captivates art lovers and detectives alike, begging the question, will we ever see these masterpieces again? If you crave more unsolved mysteries and want to dive deeper into the enigma of the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist, hit that subscribe button. Join me as we unravel the unexplained, one mystery at a time. Thanks for watching and keep those curiosity gears turning.